we need to remove the connectors from the control module. There's two tabs, one on each side. You squeeze those large tabs and you pull up. Do not pull on the wires. Hold on to the plastic housing and do not touch the uh, connectors on the inside. The little metal tabs and stuff that make the connection. Okay. There's the, uh, the female end and the male pins are down there. Don't touch them. You don't want to uh, short something out because you, your body has static electricity. You touch that, you could screw the computer. I got screwed. I got mine through Chrysler. It was $600. They're $125 or so online. You can find them online. I did not know that, uh, but I do now. I was mad for three weeks about that shit. All right, now, next thing. We're sticking with the 10 millimeter theme. There's, where's that damn bolt? Let me show you where this is at. There's three bolts we need to remove. See? We just pulled the, uh, the connector. Oh, I'm zoomed in. No wonder. Back up, bro. There we go. Okay. We pulled these connectors off. Don't want to touch the metal pins in there. I don't want to sweat down in them either. So, look right. That's where they plug. We're going off to the side here. 10 millimeter. I'm going to put this on there so you can see where it is. See where the bolt goes? So, throttle body. Come around. Bolt that holds it on. 10 millimeter. And then we have to get under the car. Well, let me get the that bolt off then I'll show you with the light. There's two more underneath uh, on the bottom of the computer. There's two. You have to get under the car to get to them. 10 millimeter. So three bolts all together. Okay. The top one up here is a nut and the two on the bottom are the bolts. What I'm going to do is uh, now the bottom is swinging free and it's hanging. It swings free like this and there's a bolt holding it. So I'm going to slide it over and come up being careful not to touch uh, anything but the outside of this computer or control module somebody will ride my ass if I don't say the right thing so. all right now we have to be careful there is a wiring harness attached to the side, okay. Looks like it just slides off. Ah, okay. <sighs> Screwdriver. It's one of them deals where you gotta push the tab and then it should slide right off. Come on, please. No, I had to pop it off like I did the other one. It's got those ribs that press in and doesn't want to come out. So there is a wiring harness that mounts in these two holes I had to pop it off this is the computer for your car it's got all the different stuff inside there there's a video I did on how to put this in all right so I'm gonna put the uh, the nut back on so I do not lose it I'm there when I need it and I'm gonna go underneath and put the bolts in so I do not lose them our next thing, 10 millimeter again. Remove the bolt for the radiator uh, support brackets here. These will go back in here.
the slides off. They just come off like that. I'm going to put those in a bag. Put my bolts back in so I don't lose them. Just enough so I don't catch it on my shirt twice and it unscrews. You know, give it a little bit in there. Alright, there we go. We'll see what the next thing is. Alright, there is a connector that goes into the fan. It's like these. You pull the tab back. Well, that one actually, it goes sideways. You push the tab and it slides right off the fan motor. Uh, taking the, the driver side off. 10 millimeter bolt again. There's a nut inside of the radiator. This holding this tube, this came off. We got another one over here. This is how the fan is held on to the radiator. And then we should be able to lift this up. It comes out a little bit. You'll have to get past the hose connector there where the hose comes on to the radiator. Was it not? There it goes. Mmm. I'm going to buy another fan, so I need to be careful. Alright. I'm going to get this. Let me guess. 10 millimeters. Yes. This looks like this goes to the air conditioning system. I got like a refill thing here. This uh, support bracket to hold that line in place. It moves pretty good, so I got it secured. Move that out of our way. All right. We'll slide the bracket over here. We don't need it right now, and we'll put this back. Can't lose it if it's in the right place. That's what my wife tells me when I can't find something in the house. Did you put it where it belongs? Well, hell no. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> if I put shit where it belonged, I wouldn't ask you anything, sweet baby. Except what's for dinner. All right. There's the cooling fan. Radiator cooling fan. Let's air in, apparently. Doesn't let the air out that way. Huh. I used to make these things at the uh, last place I worked. Injected, molded the fans, the housing, put the motors on. It's kind of interesting how it's done. It's hot as hell though, injection molding. I wouldn't do it again. I just realized, talking about safety, I didn't take my wedding band off. It's not really a big uh, danger of being shocked, really, I don't think. I don't think there's like capacitors and things like that that store energy, but I don't want to damage my ring. In a ring, it may slip off either. Uh, apparently not too many beers, but it'll slip off this way. But once something catches it and puts that angle on it, it it'll rip the meat off, and you don't want that. If, if you're working on something and the car slips and it jerks down, you're just going to have a bone there. You know, so uh, I'm going to put this up. Uh, I'm sure somebody saw me, ah, he's got his ring on, so I finally noticed. So that's just safety.